so far, our lives on this earth have all been an illusion, a matrix, times of ignorance, the spiritual dark ages. We have lived in a world where the Lord has hidden his face, his power, glory, majesty, and Bible from us. Ezekiel 39, 25 through 29. But the Lord will be sanctified and he will be glorified. Leviticus 10, 3. For the past 1,680 years, the man of sin, the prince of the power of the air, has been persuading men that we can have our Bibles, religions, and philosophies. Bibles, religions, and philosophies that we do not need God. Of course, evil never has worked. Genesis 2, 17. Thankfully, there have always been those counted as righteous by the Lord, Revelation 22, 11, who were saved by grace and not at all through the lies of Satan. Romans 5, 13, Acts 17, 30. Our Lord allowed the suffering so we would realize that the ways of men do not work and he could save us at the end. Genesis 2, 17, Romans 5, 13. Because the man of sin has been identified, we know the second coming of the Lord is at hand. The Bibles and religions of men have only ever proved one thing, and that is that they are not of God. The Lord has given us a strong delusion. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians 2.11. That means this was evil's last chance before we return to the Bible from God for the last one-tenth of man's time on this earth. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. Thank you for watching us today. We have commentaries, paperbacks, hardbacks, zip drives, EPUBs available. I want to share with you the pearl of great price. The question we should all ask is, what is good and evil? Objective moral truth from God is good and subjective moral truths and lies from men are evil. Let God be true and every man a liar. For 1,680 years, the Lord has hidden objective truth in the book of Revelation. This has allowed mankind to test out the subjective moral truths of men. We're starting to come out of the spiritual dark ages and are restoring the perfect law of liberty. www.lulu.com slash spotlight slash time of the son of man.